What's up guys, it's your boy Anthony Arendell, aka Tony, bringing you once again another TTC Tony Tech Cave review. Today I am very excited to give you a quick rundown of the Elephone U Pro. This is a very gorgeous beast. Will this be your daily driver or will this be just another hype? Stick around. Elephone is not a very well-known brand in China, however, Elephone has taken the right steps in order to cement their spot in the mobile phone industry. With its sleek design and its obvious awesome specs, the phone comes with a 5.9 inch 2160 by 1080p pixel Corning Gorilla Glass 5. The CPU is a Qualcomm Snapdragon 660 octa-core clocked at 2.2 gigahertz. System is an Android 8.0, the latest and greatest of Android. This phone has three cameras, one 8 megapixel front-facing camera and two back 30 megapixel dual rear cameras. On the sensor side of thing, this thing is equipped with a gravity sensor, fingerprint scanner, house sensor, gyroscope, e-compass and proximity sensor and of course ambient light sensor. It also comes with a GPS, Bluetooth 5.0, it also comes with a dual SIM card tray and the same tray can also be used to insert your 128 gigabytes of RAM SD card. I don't have 256, I have 128, that's what I tried and it worked fantastically. And let's not forget, last but not least, this phone also has NFC support, meaning wireless charging and wireless pinning. Now, I want to talk to you guys about the price you can get this baby right now on your best for 381 euros for 40 cents um, if we take a closer look at the phone this falls not exactly under a mid-tier phone this one is actually teetering a bit in between the high end and the mid-range both in specs and price the first thing that you will notice when you take a closer gander at this telephone is how how beautiful it actually is. This is a 5.9 inch screen, 2160 by 1080p resolution. And I must say it's, it's very bright and vibrant. And it's actually one of the first Chinese telephones that actually come with an AMOLED screen. It's not just an AMOLED screen, it's actually a flexible AMOLED screen. It's a flexible screen under the glass with a curved glass. I haven't seen any Chinese phone with a curved screen. Usually they advertise them with curved screen, but then when you actually get the telephone in your house, it's not even a curved glass. I mean, this beauty, I don't know if you guys can see this, but the glass is actually really curved. Like, look, I'm gonna do some curving, curvy thingy. You see the icons on the edge? Yeah, it's curvy. Take that, put that in your pipe and smoke it. Press. The back of the telephone is actually gorgeous. It is built from different layers and when put into the right angle with the right amount of light, it actually gives a nice little effect. Although the back of the telephone looks gorgeous, one thing that I really did not like is that it's very susceptible to fingerprints and smudges. Yes, you should watch out definitely during barbecue season. On the top side, we have our dual camera setup and we have our fingerprint scanner. The fingerprint uh, scanner works quite well usually when you put your finger on within uh, I don't know one second it would unlock it's not the fastest but it's definitely not the slowest I can tell you that for sure it works great and then moving back to the dual camera setup the dual camera setup is actually no gimmick on this telephone it actually does really work the dual camera setup is actually no gimmick it works quite well here I have a sample of a, uh, of a street sign that I took and if you look at this picture, you will notice how beautiful the bokeh effect is. Here you can clearly see that the sign is, is definitely standing out from the rest of the picture. And as you look at the rest of the picture in the background, you will certainly notice that the bokeh effect looks fantastic. It's no gimmicks, ladies and gentlemen, it actually does work. On the single camera side of things, as you can see by looking at this picture, colors are actually very vibrant. Things actually pop at you. Look as I zoom into these plant these red things I don't know what the hell that is but man they just pop the front facing camera actually takes some pretty decent shots if you look at this shot for example you will notice that it's not that bad well I'm on it that makes it worse but it's not that bad but this phone really shine it's with its CPU combined with the battery this phone comes with a Qualcomm Snapdragon 660, which is one of the best, if not the best, mid-range chips out there. With its energy efficient FinFit, oh God. With its energy efficient 14 nanometers FinFit technology, you won't be running out of battery anytime soon. Power consumption is greatly reduced, and when combined with its fast charging technology and the 3,550 milliamp ba battery we have a show winner. With such a great combination, I was able to get a whole day use and I'm a heavy user once again, ladies and gentlemen. At the end of the day, I was down to 22%, which is quite fantastic. 
Eva, whenever, when I reach to like a pile of enemies, that's when we're gonna start recording. Where are they? Okay. Gaming on this machine is quite fantastic. As you can see, it's quite awesome, it runs pretty good, and I'm getting beat up. Thank you. I have also taken the liberty to run a benchmark test using Antutu, and as you can see on the screen, the test results are great. You can't go wrong with this device. Pause it if you need to. And now we're gonna talk about the pros and cons. Pro number one is this gorgeous screen, guys. I mean, you know that was coming, man. Don't mess with the screen. It's the first thing you see. Everything on this, I don't know, man. I started listening to music and watching videos and everything started popping. Pro number two, the design. You know that was coming too, don't act surprised, man. We shouldn't be so surprised that the design is actually something that would be a pro on me. You know, it, it got stolen from Samsung. Uh, I'm just saying. And Samsung was a great design, but this, it, it just, it, it feels so premium. I mean, I can hold this phone with one hand and, and be like, what's up with the other? It's, it's awesome. The design, yeah, guys, pro number two, design, it rocks. Pro number three, the battery life. The battery life on this is actually amazing. I mean, don't forget, it's it's just a 3,550, but seeing as this is combined with a Qualcomm 660, which is quite efficient, the two combination of the two, man, great marriage, it works great. I can go on a whole day with battery, I mean, you know, it's awesome. And now we come to the cons. Con number one would definitely have to be the price. I mean, you know, 381 euros for 40 cents. That is a price that I would pay for something more high end. I mean, don't get me wrong, this is quite high end, but for that kind of a price, I mean, you know, when you teeter between high end and mid range, I would expect at least a better camera. I mean, I did need something bad to say, and um, let's get real here, guys. I mean, for that kind of a price, uh, we could have a better camera. I'm just saying. Con number two. Um, the con that I really didn't like was uh, the fact that, I don't know, this, this thing came uh, improperly configured. And when I say improperly configured, I'm talking about the accelerometer. This thing was so horribly configured that when playing a game like, I don't know, Asphalt, uh, which is a racing game, it almost looks like it's a NASCAR game because the car keeps going to the left all by itself. Can't we just have that fixed? Hopefully with the next update. And now for the verdict of the telephone. With all these specs and all these numbers, what does that translate to you in real life? During my four day test, I had absolutely no hiccups. The phone runs smoothly, calls are very clear, listening to music was just fine, and consuming media on this gorgeous screen was fantastic. Scrolling through the user interface was fast, accurate and intuitive. This is a telephone that I can easily recommend to anybody. This gorgeous beast will be my daily driver for the coming months. Will this also be your daily driver? Please let me know in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe. This has been another TTC Tony Tech Review and this is your boy Tony signing off. See you on the next one.